This one from Yard Barker. Uh, most and least improved position groups following the NFL draft for the Browns. They say the most improved wide receiver Browns didn't have a wide receiver outside of Amari Cooper Eclipse 650 yards last year. Cleveland made it a point to surround Watson with more talent this offseason, acquiring Judy, selecting Jamari Thrash in the fifth round. Least improved inside linebacker. Browns lost uh, Anthony Walker, Sione Takitaki. They responded by signing Jordan Hicks, Devin Bush. However, neither is a few at the position. Cleveland added to the room, but not until the sixth round, Nathaniel Watson. As a result, the team will have to start Bush, who many view as bust, or a young, unproven player like Watson. Uh, G. Bush, I, you know, I look at that, and, and I'll start with the linebacker. I, they like Watson, and you know what? When you hear them describe Watson, they think he can be Sione Takitaki, a younger version of Sione Takitaki. That, that's what I heard when I heard Andrew Berry. And if you found him, that's fine. They don't want to play three linebackers. They want to play. They want to get out of that. They want to play two linebackers. One of them's going to be JOK. Jordan Hicks is an upgrade. So I, I don't think they. <laughs> I think they like their linebackers just fine. Yeah, look, I mean, you, you, you know, you look all around the league. You know, you're looking to get two linebackers, right? You know. You know, you're looking to get a couple of guys so you can play nickel. You take a look at how much Greg Newsom played last year in the nickel. They're going to be playing multiple safeties. They're going to be playing guys in the box. Grant Delpit is a guy who's going to play more in the box, uh, especially when you're talking about uh, in, in the run support and different things on, on certain downs. The Browns' strategy is this. We want to get you in second and long. And if you're in second and long, you're in trouble now. We'll take our chances with, you know, you, you you running the football with our two linebackers. So you looking for a guy that was going to play maybe one down? He's not going to be a three-down guy. JOK and Jordan Hicks are going to start. You know, Devin Bush is a guy who former first-round pick. That's a flyer on him. They got Tony Fields, uh, who, who played some last year. Uh, Diabate is a guy who played. They'll find bodies to put at that other position and f figure out how to do that. I, I don't think that the linebacker position is, is a really big glaring need for them. Like you said, they got two guys um, that are going to be able to do that. So to me, um, you, you find out an opportunity if you're going to rotate them. If, 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 if uh, Devin Bush or whoever's at that, that Sam outside linebacker position is going to have to play special teams in any way. Um, I don't think it's a big glaring need. Uh, if you look at it, if you ask me, and I actually think JOK is 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 a breakout candidate to be one of the guys that are going to be a first team All Pro. Look at the way he played it the last game and the last time we saw him against the Texans. He was the best defender, even with Miles Garrett being on the field. He was the best defender that day. Uh, so I, I think that they're going to look to get out of that, and I think JOK is going to up his game in 2024.